Hey guys, thanks for stopping by. I wanted coax switches for a friend and like anything else, when we want, we don't get. And when we don't want, there are plenty available. These are the BNW coaxial switch model Protax 375. So I advertised and a ham from Peterborough was kind enough to actually drop these off at my house. And I thought the price was good. I took him at face value and checked the contents only after he had left. He never said anything about the condition and to my utter disappointment, he had taken me for a sucker by giving damaged and broken items for more than what it normally costs in a flea market. So instead of asking him, since it was my mistake of not inspecting before handing over the money, I decided to attempt repairs. As you guys know, these are sealed units. I have now removed the top covers on both. Both are damaged. Here, this is loose, so I need to check and then resolder this back. And even the connection I think is gone inside. And this, the whole thing is missing. Even if it is missing, it's okay. I just need to open and then check if everything else is okay. And I can just leave this vacant and use only the other uh, sockets. And uh, the plan is to use the multi-tool to cut here. Because I tried with a can opener. Because of this, I was not able to insert the can opener here. So I'll try and use the multi-tool to cut. Let me see how it goes. Initially the idea was to repair and use them as is, but now metal used and the thickness, the gauge of the metal used, I'm actually thinking of using the parts inside uh, to homebrew an aluminum box as these are originally very thin steel sheets and the round enclosure is very difficult to maintain and service, can't even spray deoxid. New branded good quality coax switches are pretty expensive and although I use such uh, BMW switches for even a kilowatt, I think they are pretty safe at 400 500 watts uh, if you are concerned about any arcing issues with especially with high swr so if it is say less than 4 500 watts these are typically available for about 15 dollars a piece in flea markets i think it's worthwhile uh, picking them up and as you can see it is not rocket science to repair you can cut open and then repair easily or even use the contents because the switch quality is good the unused ports are grounded this is the other one this came off a little more in a better way because I learned the technique of opening it so, as you can see this has come out completely this is the first one so this is the second one Thanks for watching.